How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. I hope you're having a good one because today we are in Flattering. It's a new hospital. It's the third hospital. And we're going to be learning about training staff. I also got a bunch of kudosh for some challenges that I apparently did. So we're going to unlock a few things as well, is what we're going to do. I'm kind of excited about it. So let's jump right into it. So, like I said, bunch of kudosh and i've already gone ahead and bought the purple bench because i love the purple bench i think it looks fantastic but we have a lot of other things we could get our hands on as well we have things like puppet shows arcade machines drinking fountains drinking fountains in 2021 is an interesting concept now that i think about it um yeah, there's a lot of things we could buy i'm probably not gonna buy too much because you know i don't feel like i need to I might save it up until I like need something, but at the same time, a 500 kudosh for a rug. I mean, I'm I'm tempted. I'm a weak man. I bought the rug because it looks kind of cool, and I stand by my decision because I think it looks really cool. What we need to do with this hospital is focus on training, like I said. So we need to get the hospital to level four. We need to hire seven staff, and we need to get staff morale to be 55%. So to do that basically we're gonna start from the beginning and place ourselves a reception desk is what we're gonna do so let's go for i'm thinking there for the reception desk and the way i'm gonna lay out this hospital is gonna be similar to one of the ones that we played before i'm gonna do the rooms in the middle so the rooms are gonna go one two three like this and then we're gonna have to move the reception desk, but that's okay. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna make the rooms relatively basic for now, and then go in and detail them, just so we can get the essentials. So we'll sell that desk, we can't use it there. We'll go ahead and put the reception desk back in, it can go there, which I think is okay. And then if we just go into rooms, I mean, we're gonna need a GP's office. We're probably gonna need two. So let's just go ahead and stop editing that room. We'll just save that space and copy the GP's office when we finish building that one. So next to the GP's office, let's do a pharmacy because we usually need a pharmacy. So the door can go there. The pharmacy thing can go there. The pharmacy thing, by the way, would fit in a room that's three by two. I don't, I don't get why this game insists on three by three for the rooms. It's actually really annoying because it just, it doesn't need to be. It really doesn't need to be that uh, that size for most of these rooms. Even the general diagnosis, we could get away with being a, a three by two. It's it is really frustrating, but it's fine. It's 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 not a huge deal. Uh, so we have those three rooms. That's important. Cardiology needs to be a three by three. So we'll do three by three there, and we'll put the the heart racer in that spot. Actually, we'll move the heart racer to that spot and we'll put the door for this place right about there. And I think that's everything it needs. And then next to that, we could do a ward. We could do psychiatry. I think we'll do psychiatry is what we'll do. So a nice, simple setup for that as well. We'll get the couch just in the corner. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking there and we'll do the psychiatrist's armchair sort of next to it very casually like this right that seems kind of nice and i don't think i have the kudosh to buy anything like a like a screen do i oh i do okay we'll get the changing screen we'll put it there so it's you know the room's kind of nice and nice and private i like it that's 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 pretty simple what else can we put in there a gramophone because that's exactly what the room needs there we go i said i wasn't detailing the rooms i'm not we're good okay now we're going to detail them and then we're going to have to look at getting a ward and duplicating this GP's offices and doing some benches down here. But let's just get the detailing done so these places are kind of nice. Okay, this seems pretty good. We've got the rooms decorated. We've got plenty of benches around here. So let's go ahead and hire some staff, even if we're not necessarily running things yet. Robert Pike has fantastic customer surface. Surface? Service? So absolutely hired. And then in terms of doctors, I mean, Brangelina Tundra. I think so. 
I think so. Absolutely. You're going to be working in there is what you're going to be doing. And then we're going to grab, I guess, Molly. And honestly, Molly can probably work in there. And then we can grab Luna Cosmic and put you in there. And I think what we can do is hopefully say that, well, let me have a look at you three. So I feel like I feel, well, uh, I feel like one of you two shouldn't be doing, uh, you two can not do those. You can do general practice and also psychiatry and that's, that's fine. Uh, you are generally going to be working all of the above and that's fine. Does someone work? Someone works the cake sale. Oh, he forgot to put the cake sale in. Damn it. I'm slightly annoyed at myself. I am. I'm slightly annoyed at myself. Whatever. Let's, let's give the assistants all of that uniform. Let's give you guys. What were the other options for you? Turquoise arm. Eh. Let's give them the blue trim. I guess all doctors can have the blue trim. I think that's probably fine. I think that'll be a fine look, although one of them is obviously going to become Dr. Horse at some point. What else do we need? Uh, nurses. I think we need three of them as well. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Victoria Shambles, you're hired. Uh, Freddy Rubbish, you're hired. And Pedro Gold, you're also hired. And then in terms of the nurses uniform, I'm kind of feeling purple. The green, I like the green, but the purple matches the... It really nicely matches the benches, so I think that's what we're going to do. And that gets us the seven staff that we needed, too. Although, we do need janitors. So, let's get Gwyneth Picture for one. And we kind of need, I guess, Natalie Bottom is, is probably fair enough, because we can train you eventually. And we'll say that the janitor uniforms can be... I'm thinking high vis I feel like the high vis is just, I mean, I love the darker one. I really do. But the high vis though. I think it needs it needs to be the high vis. I don't I yeah, we're going to commit. It was also kind of expensive, so I'm definitely going to commit. Now there is one thing I want to do before we get the hospital running, and that is I want to put a staff room in here. I also don't know why I said running with like a a running kind of um <laughs> inflection, but uh, you know, whatever. Um, I want to get a staff room, and I'm thinking I'm going to have it be that size. I'm hoping that's a decent size. Hold on a minute. Uh, one, two, three. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's going to be kind of close to those doors, isn't it? I think it's going to have to be. It needs to be a decent size for a staff room, you know? So let's do, let's do a sofa there. Let's do some retro chairs kind of next to it, I think. So sort of a retro chair there is, is kind of neat. We should have, yeah, we have the space rug, which can absolutely go in here. I think it looks fantastic. So right about there for the space rug. We can do the little retro TV because I did unlock that, didn't I? Yeah. So the little retro TV can kind of go like, is that, that's relatively central to the sofa right about there. Bit of a weird spot for it, but it's probably fine. A uh, little triangle table can go kind of in the corner. Looks kind of interesting. And we're going to do some carrots over here in the staff room. I know that's weird, but I, I want to do the carrots there just because. And uh, we can also just make the room a little nicer with a nice plant as well as maybe, I don't know, honestly, probably another sofa or more, you know, some armchairs or something. I feel like we're going to need, we need space for them to sit and relax, even if this looks a little bit weird, so... We'll do, we'll do that and then maybe move the TV to be like there. And I think that's fine. I think that's okay. We can put the, put the space thing there. That That's okay. So that's going to be our little staff room. And then next to it, on the other side, I want to do maybe a decent sized bathroom. I don't know if that would be a good idea or not, but I think it's, it's what I'm going to do. And let me tell you something. Actually, I, I you know what? This story has nothing to do with bathrooms. I was... <laughs> I was about to say, let me tell you something about bathrooms. It's one of the weirder things I could say, to be honest. Uh, no, this story has has nothing to do with uh, with bathrooms. Honestly, it genuinely doesn't. And I feel like the more I say that, the weirder it is. Um, and especially with the context of what I'm about to say. I recently tried kidney. And let me tell you something about kidney. 
I've always been a a picky eater, right? I've always been a really picky eater. And kidney was one of those things that I'd never tried before. And I was just, just the thought of it is like, ugh. You know, it's always been, it's always been like that. And I don't know if I'm happy to report, but I'm, I'm here to report that I was right, man. The texture is, ugh. It's awful, dude. I, I don't know how people can like, and the smell, ugh. God, it's just gross. It's really, really gross. Like it stinks. It's just, it's genuinely awful. I, it was not a pleasant experience eating kidney. It was in a pie as well. Like you would think it would be okay, but it just, it was not, it was, it was not okay. Nothing about it was okay. And it was just really, really unpleasant. And I, I just thinking about it, like I can still, it was a couple of hours ago. I can still taste it. You know, it's, it's that kind of food. You know, you eat it a couple of hours ago and you're sitting there, you know, two hours later, like, ugh. Ugh, I don't recommend it. I really don't. I do, I do not recommend it at all. But th then there's people out there, man. There's people out there that are like, no, I love, you know, kidney's great. I love it. It tastes fantastic. I don't, I don't agree. <laughs> I don't, I don't agree. I, uh, I strongly disagree with the notion that kidney tastes great. It was a thoroughly unpleasant experience to uh to try that and i didn't eat much i really didn't I, I i knew it was kidney i looked at it and i thought that looks like a sponge it doesn't look like a sponge but i knew it was gonna sort of have the texture of like it, it just had no bite Ugh. it's gross it was really really gross i can't i can't stress that enough um anyway we got the staff room we got some toilets we're gonna need, um, we got cardiology. We're gonna need a ward probably, and probably the deluxe clinic, and probably, probably a pans lab as well, which annoyingly has to be four by four. So the pans lab would have to go like there, which I guess is what it's probably gonna do. So uh, yeah, let's 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 cancel this room, and we'll build a pans lab if slash when we need it, because right now we can just let this run. Oh. Okay, well that was that was easy. So what do we need? To, <laughs> we got training already. Fantastic. Um. Okay, so we have a clown problem apparently. Flutterings had a bit of a problem recently. Clowns, they're everywhere. Apparently they keep escaping from the traveling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. We'll need some new equipment to, to uh, deal with them. The Orb Foundation have a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They have offered to supply us with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mold our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? Okay, so we need to train a staff member. I feel like we should run the hospital first, you know? I feel like that's probably the priority. Of course, of course the first patient is a clown. You would be, wouldn't you? You have, you would be, you would be a clown. All right, well, he's gone in to see a GP. I'm hoping the second patient is someone we can actually treat. Cause if it isn't, this is gonna be a little bit awkward is what it's gonna be. Where are you off to? Where are you off to? What are you, what are you doing? You're going to general diagnosis. Okay. Well, that's, that's fair enough. I hate the walk. I hate, I hate your walk. It's, I just, I don't, I don't like it. I really don't. It's ridiculous in every way. Uh, also, we should probably, wait, we don't have anyone trained in mechanics right now. Oh. Okay. Well, fair enough. We'll get someone trained in mechanics at some point. A lot of people just walking around too. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of need you guys to be in your offices, you know, working. Oh, you need a ward, seriously? Okay, okay, we'll build a ward. We'll build a ward. That's that's kind of what I was keeping these corners over here for, so I could build like a nice big ward in there. So we'll do, I guess, we'll do a door there. I don't know if that's a good place for it, but we'll do we'll do the door there. We'll do the changing screen back there. And the beds, we can, I mean, we discovered we can stagger these, right? So I can, I can do it this way. And we can actually get a lot of beds into the ward. If I sort of 
even that kind of works. I can sort of throw it in the corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six is not bad. We could do seven. I think we're going to do it. I think, I think that's what we'll go for. So we'll do some lockers a bit like this. We can throw one kind of there, there, there. We can get one down here as well and there. So every bed has a locker. We can do, a, I guess a filing cabinet can go over there. It seems like a stupid place for it, but whatever. We can do a nice plant. Seems like it'll be lovely. And we can do uh, some chairs as well for anyone that's visiting. They can uh, they can have a chair to uh, to sit on, which is usually the thing, isn't it? With like hospital wards, there is usually a chair, like one chair for the entire ward. But who am I to judge? Um, can I get this chair in here? No, that seems fine. That seems OK. We could we could do like a certificate there. And I want this thing to be a little bit of a higher prestige. So let's do like a food pyramid poster. Let's do a lightheadedness poster. And what else have we got? We've got a Sonic poster. We'll put the Sonic poster there. We're so close to level four. We are so, so close. I also want these bedside tables. I'm not going to lie. Uh, what else can I put in here? A fire extinguisher. That's probably not going to make the room any fancier, but it's actually going to be essential. So that can live there. And I don't think I'm going to get another plant, am I? No. There's got to be something. What else can I put in the walls? I guess this guy can kind of like live there. And then the eye test poster can kind of live there. There we go. So level four. So that'll be the ward. And we can go ahead and hire another nurse for that. And Macy Chunder. I love the names. I love the names so much. I cannot begin to tell you how much I love the names in this game. A clown clinic is required for jest infection. We're going to have to send the patient home, I'm afraid, because we're not going to get the clown clinic yet. We we still need to train staff, so we're kind of going to be waiting on that one. Is what we're going to be doing. Unless, I mean, how big does a training room need to be? It needs to be three by three. Okay. Okay, we can we can make that work. So a deluxe clinic can be three by three. So what if we made the training room there? So we do something like that. We do the projector thing there. And then these guys can kind of go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we're ever going to need that many, though, if I remember right, with with how training actually works in this game. I think it's like you it's not just like a generic training thing, is it? And it also costs money, too, if I remember right. But I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be fine is 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 what it'll be. Uh, we'll put a certificate just there and we'll put some flying ducks in the wall. And what else can I put in here? A Sonic poster right at the back. As well as maybe someone's just died. Oh no. Oh no. Um, a lightheadedness poster can go there. I need like one more poster. So give me this one there. And I guess a plant as well in, in the, no, I can't do a plant. Okay. So that's going to be our training room. Who died? How did someone die? How have we killed you already? You've been here for like two minutes and you're already dead. We've also discovered verbal diary. How? How did I kill you? You had bed face. What even is bed face? An alarming condition of the face. I could have guessed that. Caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Okay, so you died from bed face. I don't know how to feel about that. I I am not sure how to, how to feel about that, but okay. Um, we need to train someone. How does how do we do this? Hmm. Okay. I feel like mechanics and we'll get a guest trainer and we'll train Natalie and we'll start that up. So that way we don't need to get another janitor. We can just train the one that we have with a guest trainer. That that seems like the right way to do things. What is this? Freudian lips. Okay. Well, we're probably fine. Uh, We have too many doctors. Really? I guess we probably do, huh? So like you're doing nothing and you're 
Well, you're going in there. I feel like we probably could get rid of like a single doctor, but we're, we're going to need them eventually, right? Like eventually it will be a thing that we need more doctors. So we'll hold off is what we'll do. What I am going to do though is get myself a deluxe clinic right in there. Cause I feel like that is going to be something that we're going to need at some point. So let's just go ahead and put the thing there. We'll put the control thing in the corner. And in terms of other things, I mean, I don't know, a nice plant by the door, I guess. Uh, a fire extinguisher kind of back there. And I don't know, what else? Uh, a food pyramid poster, sure. Lightheadedness poster is probably appropriate. A certificate to say that the machine works. And I guess flying ducks. There we go. So that'll do. That's, that's a good place for that. And then... I mean, we can afford it. We're probably going to regret building all of this, but the pans lab can go right there. And I think that'll be okay. So sure. Let's, let's, let's do, uh, let's do the pans lab right there. That's a massive, massive thing is what it is. That is, that is huge. I always forget how big the pans lab thing is. Uh, let's get this room to be nice as well. So a couple of, a couple of plants, I guess. And whatever else we can throw in here, I suppose. Okay, we have a pans lab, we have deluxe, we have training going on. We're very low on money, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And you're ready to be promoted, of course you are. Okay, you can you can certainly have a promotion, I'm sure. I'm sure we can afford it. I, I, am, I am sure, I am sure we can afford it. Gonna be no, no problem with, uh, with affording an upgrade. An upgrade, a promotion. We're, we're fine. This place is kind of packed, isn't it? But this is good, right? This keeps everything relatively close together. So we've, we've got like everything that we kind of need. In theory. I don't, I don't know if we actually do have everything that we need right now, but I feel like we have everything we need. You know, training, uh, staff room. It's not a very big staff room, but it's a staff room. It's something, right? Anyway, the good news is Training is done. We also got the clown clinic. Oh, we need another hospital. We've got no room for a clown clinic. That's frustrating. Okay. Let's upgrade everything right now. It's it's kind of ex oh god, we're a little bit broke right now. That was that was maybe not my um best decision. So uh go ahead and you know upgrade that, but whatever we'll get the upgrades done anyway just because i mean the thing is the machines they they become more efficient as i upgrade them so i feel like upgrading them kind of makes sense it lets them you know just work better right so in theory i would imagine that they run faster so we can get more people through the hospital would would be my theory i would hope i'm right I do really hope I'm right. I'm also hoping we can maybe get a, um, can we get a doctor up here? Are all my doctors busy right now? I feel like all my doctors might be busy right now. Suddenly I feel like I don't have enough doctors. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm really getting that feeling because, uh, it's kind of looking that way. We also have a pandemic emergency and you want me to shoot five mono beasts. Oh boy. The mono beasts are the escape mono brows in this game, aren't they? Like shooting the rat. There's one. Like shooting the, uh, how do I, there we go. Like shooting the rats in, in the old, uh, the old one in, in theme hospital. So we'll, we'll keep an eye out for them is what we'll do. I've only got 180 days to do this as well. So got to keep an eye out for them is what I got to do. Now, let's see. You're working there. That's fine. I feel like we need another doctor. I really do. So what do we got? General practice. Not bad. We've got stamina. Tra I can't afford to hire you though. I need, I need like a normal. So even though this Bertie, Bertie curtains, as great a name as that is, Layla hogwash is the one we're going to hire. And we also have you wanting promoted. Sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Also, did someone. That is, I think that is vomit. I'm hoping that's vomit. 
Because if it's not, it's chunky. Macy Chunder has gained lots of experience in the job. They'll be ready for promotion to nurse once they've completed some training. A new qualification will give them increased benefits. Okay. Sure. Let's train you in... I mean... Hmm. Here, here's, here's the thing, right? What do we need you trained in? You run the ward, I think. I think you run the ward. I'm pretty sure you run the ward. So... Yeah, I feel, I feel like we can... So let's do, let's do ward management two. And let's just have a guest trainer come in. Oh, you're kind of expensive. You are kind of expensive. But we'll do it. We'll do it. And then you are pretty much going to be set up. You're not Macy Chunder. Where the hell's Macy? What the hell is this? So hold on a minute. I want, I want Macy to be the only one that runs the ward. Which might be a problem if there's, well, okay. We'll let them all run the ward for now. Once Macy's training is done, that's when Macy is going to be the only one running the ward. That's, that's how that's going to work. Also, we kind of need, we do kind of need a clown clinic. We kind of really badly need a clown clinic as well, because we keep getting clowns in here, so... We... Oh, God. We killed one of them. We killed one of the emergents. Oh. I only cured four of seven. That's not... That's not great. We've also got a mime crisis. Oof. These, these, are, these aren't sentences you expect to say. Oh, we've got a mime crisis. Of course we have a mime crisis. Because of course we do. Absolutely. Why wouldn't we? Also, I'm not seeing as many mono beasts as I'd like to see. There's like none. We had we had one. And we've had none since. So that's great. I feel like I'm gonna I'm probably gonna fail that particular challenge. Which is frustrating, but Oh, oh there was one. I saw one. I think I did see one there. Hold on. I, no, I don't know if I'm seeing things now or not. I might be seeing things. I, I mean, I could be. It's it's a definite possibility. Okay, so I did find a couple. We've got one more mono beast needing to be shot. And I'm determined, man. I am determined to find it. We're going to get it. We're going to shoot it. We're going to complete this challenge. We have like 40 days left to do it. And I'm confident. All right. I'm confident. We'll find him. We'll see him. We'll see him running up one of the holes and we'll just, you know, just, just BAM! Just like that. Just like that. That's what it's going to be. The Mono Beast isn't even going to see it coming. What is this? We were staffed. Promote three staff. Okay. That's, that's, uh, that's a challenge. <laughs> kind of, what kind of challenge? Oh, there he is. What kind of challenge is that? Oh, promote three of us. You won't. All right. You're right. I won't promote you. Anyway. Let's, um, we have a bit of money, so let's buy, so it's 40,000 for that bit of land, 30 for that one, 50 and 50. Let's buy the 30, because we can go ahead and uh, turn that into the clown clinic, is what we can do. So that'll be the clown clinic, and then in terms of other things, I mean, we kind of need to train more staff, is, is what we need to do. So... Let's not do psychiatry. Let's do... I feel like mechanics too is not a bad idea. Or ghost capture, maintenance, things like that. I also like the idea of increasing the intelligence of a few of my members of staff. I'm not going to lie. That would be kind of nice. Diagnostics too wouldn't be a bad idea either, I don't think. It probably wouldn't be. That probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. But let's do... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Emotional intelligence is more happiness. Training masterclass increases teaching and learning speed. Meh. Uh, general practice. We could have you look into that, I guess. And then in terms of trainers, we could have you do it. So it's going to be cheaper. 
that seems fine. We'll so we'll train you in general practice. It should be nice and quick. We'll have one of our own doctors do it. And I guess what is this? Staff training required. Ooh, we'll get to you. We'll absolutely get to you. We are going to be down a couple of doctors though, and we have some pretty big queues forming over here. So let's go ahead and hire another doctor. And Chloe Digestive, although Dwayne Sweat. But say, uh, Chloe Digestive is the one we're going to grab there because that way, I mean, general practice level two is, is going to be kind of useful. What's also kind of useful is this right here. We got to get ourselves a, cli a, a, a clown clinic. I swear I can speak. I can speak, I promise. All right, I know, I know. <laughs> I keep stumbling over words, man. I keep doing it. Um, So that's for... That's that's probably fine, right? That's a decent size for a clinic. Uh, we'll do the door there. Oh, I forgot what this thing looked like. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I love it. I love it. Dehumifier as well. Such a good name. So we'll put a plant down there. We'll do... I don't know what else we can put in here. We got a cannon. We've got circus lights. I kind of want the circus lights. I'm not going to lie. They're They're pretty cool looking. So we'll do some circus lights there. And we can do some circus lights, I guess, there. And sort of there as well, just to make the room a bit weirder. So that's that's okay. And we'll do a fire extinguisher because it's kind of essential. So that's about everything we're going to need. That's the clown clinic. We've also got more training required of people. That's okay. We'll get some benches over here. And then the clown clinic will be up and running, I guess. We'll do a nice drinks machine there as well. But yeah, that can be, that can be the clown clinic. We'll get, uh, oh my God, the spotlight actually stay. Oh, it stays on the, oh my God. I love it. I love how that works. I also want to, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That's, um, it failed. Oh God, we're getting awards. <laughs> These aren't going to be good. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, I'll actually take that. That's, that's not too bad. That's, that's actually not too bad. I will, I will absolutely take that. We also have another promotion here. So we'll promote you and then we need to train someone else. So what do you need? What are you, you're a, what do you do? Mechanics? So I, we, I mean, we could do mechanics too, right? We absolutely could do Mechanics 2. We could do Ghost Capture as well, but I think Mechanics 2 is going to be a good idea. And we'll bring a trainer in for that one. So that'll be fine. And then we have a Pandemic Emergency. Sure. Not a problem. We could do a second training room, thinking about it. I don't think we need to. But we definitely could. I'm also thinking we really maybe need another GP's office. Also, I can see you. I think, I think we might need another GP's office. They're getting a little bit busy. They are they're definitely getting a little, little bit busy there. Is what they're doing. So we might want to look into that. In fact, over here will be a good place for one. So copy you. And we can go... Well, I guess we can go here. We're going to have to sort of shuffle some things around though. So this goes there. The door goes there, and this goes right about there. That seems fine. That, that should be okay. Uh, we can get a couple of benches over here as well, I suppose. We'll do one there. And we're probably going to want some more stuff over here too. Like, what else, what else do we need right now? Again, more training would be nice. It definitely would be. But I feel like the GP's office was kind of the main thing. There's just so many people waiting for them. There's actually, well, there's less waiting for those ones now, so we're, we're probably okay. I think we'll manage. What do we got? Training required. We'll deal with that. We've discovered lycanthropy. Okay. All right, so that's... That's probably something to be concerned about. It sounds awfully sim... You know, like, like it could be related to maybe werewolves. I also don't know why I turned into a turtle when I like I do that I, I always do that thing to emphasize the point I like bring up my shoulders and then bring them down. it's like a turtle coming out of its shell you know what I mean it, I'm I'm not, not being very um 
Not being very uh, complimentary towards myself, I guess. Uh, this is good, though. So we did the thing, which is lovely. We've got Mitten University and Tumble. We've got something about reception, and we've got a clown poster. Okay. Hold on a minute. Items, rooms, reception. What? Patients register here after arriving at the hospital. Oh. Oh, I forgot this was even a thing. I'm not going to lie. I actually genuinely forgot that this was, this was a thing. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. We're not going to build one, but that is kind of cool. We might want one at some point, but certainly not going to be right now. Uh, to get this place to be a two-star hospital, train six staff, promote six staff, get to level nine. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty confident we can, we can do most of that. To be, to be honest, we've got two that need promoted right away. So you and you, and then that's done. We'll train you in, what are, what are you good at right now? Pharmacy management. Okay. Let's train you in treatment. That seems like a good idea. And then we'll train some other members of staff as well. So we'll just train everybody in, in treatment. That's seems like a good idea to me. You know, it, it gets, it gets all these staff trained up and also promoted pretty quickly. So in theory, anything they do is going to be better. That seems to make sense to me. Oh good, the mayor wants to visit. I'm sure that'll be fine. What do you want? Hospital attractiveness 70%. We can probably do that. That'll not be a disaster at all, I'm sure. I'll tell you what we also probably need is more doctors. And also you wouldn't be a bad one either. Fabio Curves. We'll hire you. Just so we have that extra doctor. We're also probably going to want an extra nurse. Thinking about it. So... Let's grab Luna Massive and just have you do whatever. And I feel like we also probably do need to upgrade reception a little bit here. So let's just get some of this stuff out of here. Let's get you out of here and you. Let's get that out of there and that out of there. And let's get that out of there as well. We do need a reception desk, but we can we can absolutely build like a, a, a chunky one, right? So we can do that. And then the entrance to this thing is is invalid okay well that's a bit of a problem can i expand this like that i mean i can but the entrance isn't gonna work that's frustrating it, it would be nice if it did be nice if i could just leave it open that would be that'd be great too also printers and radios and things like that would be cool as well but i don't think we're gonna get that uh, the reception pods themselves also can't really go in corners. So that's kind of a problem. Oh god. Oh, I don't want <laughs> I didn't want to pick it up. I just want to get rid of those bits. So the reception pods themselves. Well, I'm gonna have to figure this out. The entrance is gonna have to be there. And then for the reception pods, we can do one, two. We can't do two. Can I maybe do two? I don't think I can do two of these. No, I can't. Oh boy. So we've kind of built ourselves into a bit of a pickle. But I can... I can get myself out of this pickle. I have an idea. We're gonna move everything. Okay, so everything has been shuffled. Now I can hopefully go in here and do a nice big chunky reception area, right? So, the hatch, yeah, we, so we still need it to be chunky, right? It still needs to be, like, that big, which is dumb, as, as far as I'm concerned. It is, it is silly that it needs to be this big, but it's what it's gonna be, I guess. And then the reception pods themselves, I mean, there, 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 we can... No, we can't put them that close together. That's fine. We can do another one over here if we really want to. I don't think we're gonna. I think we'll just space these guys out a little bit further. And I guess that's the way it's gonna be. I could take that corner off, but then the door isn't gonna work. So whatever, we'll, we'll do that. That's fine. 
Uh, we can do some mini filing cabinets kind of at the back here as well, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I guess we could do, let's get some flowers for right about there. We'll go for more flowers and we'll put them right about there and get a little radio and put it sort of, I don't know, back there is, is probably fine. Uh, what is this? Real to, oh, the follow up to cave painting. Uh, let's get a printer. A printer in the reception area seems like it would be kind of important. So a couple of those and a mini radiator. Doesn't seem like a bad idea either. We'll get a couple of those at the back and that's probably fine. Oh, they've got a hot chocolate maker. I could, I could go for a hot chocolate. I'm not going to lie. I, I could, I could go for a hot chocolate. I make really good hot chocolate as well. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. I, I do. I just do. It's a, just a fact is, is what it is. Anyway, that's going to be the reception. We need to get rid of you and we need to get rid of you. And we're going to get rid of you, 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 you. And I guess this plant is going to have to go as well because we're going to we're going to sort of change the way these benches are done. We're going to have them kind of back to back in those those spaces. And I guess we could put more plants in there as well, say that spot and that spot. And I guess that's OK. We can do some plants in the reception area, too. So like that, just to make it a bit nicer. And that's probably good enough. I think at this point we can just hire some more assistants. So we'll get Lawrence Moose and we'll get ourselves, I don't know, um, Leroy Massive. Leroy Massive is going to be the one that we get there. And that'll be good. That should make reception a little bit easier to manage. That should help us to, um, you know, not have people queuing for reception at the very least. Okay. I think that's going to do us for this episode. I feel like it's been a longer episode than they usually are as well. So hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you don't mind that too much. It's been fun though, man. I, I, I didn't expect to enjoy this game as much as I'm enjoying it, having come back into it. And I, I've played all these before, so it's just been years ago. So remembering it is, is the case, whatever the case thank you very much for watching it's been an absolute pleasure as always and as always i'll see you next time Bye bye